Hiya guys, hello and welcome to Inceptor Gaming. If you're new to my channel, click like, give me a subscribe, put in any comments about the sort of games you like to play, and if you've got any suggestions for my channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also guys, if you really want to, and if you've been around my channel for a while, please click the donate link below. Just helps me keeps the bills paid, you know, keeps the lights on, have a small gamer out. <laughs> anyway guys, today then, playing Cold Waters, this is Dot Mod version 0.2b and it's the 1984 campaign with HMS Tireless because the kind guys at Dot Mod have now included the Trafalgar class submarines in the 1984 campaign without any uh, additional adding them in by myself. <laughs> okay then, so I'm just going to start up a new game here, create a new save, I'm going to call this one T-Boat 84. So just going along to our boat selection now. Like I say, I will be playing as the Trafalgar class and also big shout out to the Dot Mod guys because on this version, uh, which is a big step up from 0.1c, which is what I last played, they have greatly improved the textures of the submarine here. So that, that is really, really good of them. Uh, so, and they've included it in by default. Also, uh, the stats on the uh, submarine there, I have had to amend the crush depth. Uh, they incorrectly had the crush depth being 1,800 feet, it is not, it is 1,968 feet, so I have changed that, but also as well guys, fair play to them, they did correctly put in the uh, wire break torpedo chance on a tiger fish as 60%, which to be totally honest is accurate, however, from a gameplay balancing issue, it is not really very fun playing with 60% chance because I have literally had occasions where I've shot all five tubes and every single wire has broken so yeah it's it's realistic but it's also it takes some of the fun out of it so I have actually what I've done I have rounded down the wire break chance on Tigerfish in my version from 60% to 35% it's still high you know when I fire a salvo two three torpedoes I get at least one usually two wire breaks every single time so you know if I fire three torpedoes yeah at least one probably two break anyway so it's still you know it's still a little bit of a nuisance in there but I haven't rounded it down to zero to be stupid or anything like that I've still kept a bit of realism but like I say I have I have reined that one back just a little bit anyway so here we are we're in port at the moment checking our loadout got a, quite a reasonable load out there I do believe the guys have, um, at Dotmod have also improved the uh, textures of the torpedoes as well so also kudos to them on that front you know because seeing these Dotmod guys are literally just an independent team they're doing a really good job anyway so with this mission guys what we've got to do we've got to intercept some uh, Russian Soviet submarines trying to break through uh, to the North Atlantic there so I've just got myself in position I did, uh, did speed up time there a little bit as well. Okay, so here we are, HMS Tireless. As I say, details have been greatly improved of the textures. So we're somewhere near Iceland, and our mission is to sink Russian submarines. We're looking for enemy submarine contacts. So moving on to our map screen, we've got a couple of uh, couple of contacts. And actually, I do believe, by the looks of it, we've got a torpedo launch, so we have been detected. Um, so, I've also sent off a couple of fish in the water as well. Okay, so the firing salvos of this now. Okay, not a problem. We can do something about that, I'm sure.
Okay, so got two enemy submarines running. The third contact is a surface ship by the looks of it, uh, a merchant. I also like the way the sonar pings have been improved as well. That's a lot better than in the original uh, original game. Okay, let another fish go. Because although I fired three, four torpedoes, <laughs> at least one or two of them has had the wire break. That is quite common uh, with the tiger fish. Which, to be fair, it is accurate. Tiger fish torpedoes were incredibly poor, but as I said earlier, a little disclaimer search. there. I did round, round down the percentage of wire break chance from 60 to 35. Just because 60 is absolutely no fun at all. <laughs> like I say, 60% means pretty much every time you're going to get a wire break. <laughs> that's just, yeah, that's just poor, poor balancing. I know, you know, I know, I know it's realistic, but uh, I had to turn that down just a little bit. Two, anyway, three, so just watching the progress of my torpedoes here. Okay, so one of my torpedoes has now gone active. Hopefully that should catch up to the enemy Charlie sub. We shall see, one way to find out. Okay, just sending that torpedo up to uh, the sub's shallower depth. Hopefully we can find it soon. I do like the way the seawater is a lot, uh, a lot more cloudy now than it used to be as well. Again, that was an improvement by the dot mod crew, so kudos to them. They are doing a good job overall with this, uh, to be fair. Um, with the torpedo, with the wire guided, going to send that up as well. Because uh, my torpedo is running nice and deep, but the uh, my enemy sub I'm after is running at quite a shallow depth. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, four, four. Okay, just started to go active there. Try and get a better gun. fix on them. Con sonar, go range to target, etc. Con sonar lost contact. I did all those sonar pings, they are pretty good to be fair. Contact faded. Con. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, two knots. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, three, last bearing, zero. Come right to two, one, nine, helm, I. Okay, so... Just guiding this torpedo now to the target. Hopefully we'll get a fix on it. Also as well, the DotMad team have improved the uh, the countermeasures. So the countermeasures do 
do work against your torpedoes a lot better than they used to. And also the enemy subs are a lot more evasive now as well. So there's, you know, that's also a very good improvement. Um, so yeah. I, I do enjoy overall what the dot mod guys Pretty are doing with this quiet. game. They're giving it a lease of life far Tons beyond what the original uh, developers ever came up with. Come left to one nine one helm I. Okay, so I'm avoiding the countermeasure there just because I have to manually Calm guide the torpedo down, away. That is why, generally speaking, as much as possible, it's best uh, if your torpedoes do not break the wires because you will have to correct their trajectories. Obviously, if your torpedo is not wire guided, you can't do that. So, Con, sonar, this one's closing in. On. I think this is zero, going to be a dead three, kill. Bearing, zero, five, two. Yeah, we're getting close. Getting closer indeed. I think this will soon be a case of terminal homing. Con sonar. Yep. Sierra 3 is classified Going as terminal. Urgent. Come on, you can do it. Just a little bit more. He's turning inside me as well. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Boom! Okay, excellent. So, one submarine is down. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Okay. So, me the torpedo uh, <laughs> went out of fuel. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, you're going to have to... Uh, I think I'm going to have to clone it, close in on this torpedo, on this uh, submarine, I think. I'm nice and deep, 1800 feet. 3 2 knots, going to push speed up, close distance. Because if I remember correctly, Charlie Sub has got a top speed of 24 knots. I can do 32. So uh, push it up, put on a bit of time compression, close distance. And then I should finally be able to nail him. Hopefully. Come right to 217 Helm I. Con Helm. Steady course. Okay, closing distance quite nicely now, I believe. Picking up a fair bit of uh, ambient noise, so ultra quiet now just to get a new bearing on my enemy target. Okay, the waterfall display should clear soon as well, which will improve the detection ability. I've got something coming through there, I think, possibly. Sonar, switching the passive. Okay, so the merchant, which is kind of behind me. That's not the target I'm after. Yep, that's the merchant, right? Yeah, so classify that, reclassify. Yeah. So what's the enemy submarine? I know the submarine's going to be quieter, but still, you know, my superior detection equipment, because Trafalgar's are superior to Charlie's, should be finding relatively easy. Fire. Just uh, streaming toad array as well. That should improve things a little bit. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, three, 
Last bearing, zero, three, eight. Contact faded. Okay, so still not picking up the enemy sub, which is kind of unusual. I'm going active and I've also got a toad array in the water. So I'm going to speed things up here guys, bit of time compression. I've also manually edited the speed on this bit as well, just purely because uh, it was taking way, way, way too long there to find the enemy. I'm starting to wonder as well if me now not being able to detect this sub at this point, you know, still nearby apparently, is a glitch zero, in dot mod three, maybe, which is a shame zero, because three, so far the mod has been really, really good. I know if all the guys do do a very good job with the mods, I'm, I must say. Um, but yeah, Make turns for three, it's taking way two, too long to find. Nine, I mean, I'm doing two knots nine. as well, so I've got the best possible opportunity. Gun I've just fired off a torpedo there as well, just to see if I could provoke it into action or something. You know, because I can't be too far away from the enemy's sub. He was doing 24 knots, I've done 32. Three, two, nine, I would have closed a lot of distance. Okay, now he's not showing us nearby at all. So somehow he's supposed to have evaded me completely, which I don't believe. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 1. Bearing yeah, I don't believe one, that. Six, um, eight. Like I said, I'm making two knots so I can hear everything. Still weapon nearby, but no enemy sub. Let me just try Con something else two, then. Um, one, nine, change seven, direction. No, I, uh, I think I'm going to push up speed Con as well. Sonar, switching to active search. Because if the enemy sub has really uh, got away from me, then there's no there's no point hanging around at this Con point. I might as well just get out of dodge, one, you know, and the no level high. really. So speed now 32 knots again. Okay, now that is weird. That is weird. I'm now doing 32 knots in a different direction. And somehow I've reacquired the enemy sub, which I couldn't find when I was only making two knots and an awful lot less noise than I was make than I'm making at 32 knots. So, okay, a little bit of anomaly there, to be honest. Come right to one. I, six, I am wondering four, if that no is a little nine. bit of a glitch. We'll have to see. Right, so there's a the target. We need to close in, gain some uh, closer distance on it. Still loving those sonar pings, they're pretty good to be fair. <laughs> Dot mod team have really done a good job so far. Uh, and of course this is only uh, 0.2b, so there's I'm sure there'll be a few more iterations to come as well. But definitely need to work on closing our distance here. He's obviously trying to run from me as fast as he can at a, his amazing speed of 24 knots, but of course I am capable of 32, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Right, okay, we are closing quite quickly on him. I want to get to probably within a few thousand yards, maybe four, five thousand yards, something like that, before I focus on uh, firing a torpedo. I'm going to close the distance as much as I can. A little glitch with the game there. Oh, well. Okay, we're closing distance nicely. I've got an eight knot advantage on him, so I'm ranking up the pace. Time to get my torpedoes ready. 
Gonna let two go, I think. Probably get a wild break on at least one of them, because you normally do with tigerfish. Although, as I said earlier, I did write, uh, round down the wire break probability to 35% from 60, just for balancing more than anything else. Because um, when you've got 60% probability, I've found before, pretty much all five wires break every time. Helm right two. One, six, six. Helm I. So that's why I did amend that, just to make it a little bit more playable. Otherwise, otherwise uh, Tigerfish torpedoes are not overly playable in my experience, so... Okay, we're closing in on him quite nicely now. Yeah, soon be within good range to let go with my torpedoes. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay, ultra quiet. So I'm going to drop my speed because obviously you can't fire your torpedoes above 10 knots, I think it is. Con sonar, switching the passive search. Well, you can fire them above 10 knots, but you can potentially damage your torpedo tubes. So, uh, drop down nice and gone slow. Fire control. We've lost the there wire. we go, straight away. Tire. Torpedo gone, wire break. Uh, as I say, it does happen a lot with tiger fish. Even gone with. Fire control. We've okay, lost I've, lost, I've lost one, two torpedoes, you see? So, like I said, um, this is with me, with me rounding down wire break probability to 35% from 60. I've still let two tubes go and had two breaks, so, you know, it's, it's still quite tough. Oh, <laughs> torpedo room, tube two ready. So, there we go. So, I'm going to uh, probably let a third torpedo go, hopefully keep the wire on the third one. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Okay, so one of my uh, previous torpedoes is going up to his uh, shallow depth. The other one is just meandering along nice and deep. Oh, there we go, it's going up now. Okay. Let's see if these two will find the target. But I may have to let a third go and hope it will stay on the wire. Shoot two five. Aye, okay, sir. there's my third one. Okay, third torpedo has kept the wire, okay. So I have got two torpedoes closing in his general direction, but of course they are just doing this snake pattern run. They haven't found him yet. Excellent, okay, he's turning in, brilliant. That makes it a bit easier for me. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, seven, four. Okay, of course, dropping the countermeasures now. Okay, so one has definitely found the target. Okay. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. One, He's still dropping eight, counter measures though. Okay. And of course, without the uh, torpedoes um, being wire guided, I can't I can't correct for the uh, for the uh, for the counter measures. So that torpedo is going to go straight for the tor straight for the counter measure, straight through it. And then he's going to go searching again and hopefully we find him. But at least I've got one torpedo still on the wire. Bit of time compression there. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing one, eight, okay. five. So two of my torpedoes are still searching for him. Brilliant. Con sonar, switching to active search. I seem to have lost him as well on my sonar. Because my sonar picture is showing him in a different position than where he really is. There we go, there he is again. Sonar, oh, he's turning in again. Brilliant. One, okay. Nine, one. So because he's turning in, that makes it easier for me to Con, fire control, guide my wire torpedo to him. Right. So it's a bit overkill, really. You know, letting three torpedoes go for one enemy sub. But as I say, when you're using tiger fish, you have to do it. Even like I say, even running tiger fish with 35% wire break probability. <laughs> you still got lots and lots and lots of wire breaks. So that's why I did adjust it, just for a bit more balance, you know. 
otherwise it's just too too frustrating to play it with tiger fish Okay, closing in nicely. Bearing one, eight, nine. So the two previous torpedoes are coming in from one side. I've got the wire guide torpedo coming from the other. So this could be good, hopefully. Closing in. I think this is going to do the trick. At least I hope it is. Looking good, looking good. This is it. Any minute now. Oh, it's up here. Just missed him. Okay, got him. There we go. Got him. Finally, I got him. Okay. And now the other two uh, torpedoes let go earlier are going to find him, but it's a bit late for that. So like I say, yeah, <laughs> I did get him in the end. But even like I say, even with running with a 35% uh, wire break chance, it's still pretty hard to play. Um, so I did, like I say, I did, I did round that down from 60% as set by the my crew. Right to purely for balance, eight. because yeah, otherwise it's just not fun using the Trafalgar in the 84 campaign. Three, two, and although I do completely believe in realism as much as possible, you know, there's that fine line between what it, what is realistic and what is fun. You know, it needs to be it needs to be fun as well. So there we go, mission complete. Anyway, so that's good. I'm getting a bit short on torpedoes by the looks of it, so I'm gonna have to rearm soon. I think back at base, but not to worry. So yep, yeah, there's a mission update, it's a su success, and there's the uh, proverbial outro screen, and US Marine Corps reinforcements are arriving, excellent, okay, so it's all good, it's all been a positive outcome, and there we have it then guys, thank you very much indeed for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed my content in general, please give me a like, give me a subscribe if you haven't already, and also, It'd be greatly appreciated if you'd be so kind as to click the donate link in the description below or buy me a coffee. You know, it all helps me keep the bills paid. Thank you very much indeed, guys.